Hello, hello, <laughs> welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My website is jasonnewland.com and this is me. It really is. Oh. I'm doing a live broadcast. And you can see my hair, blimey, my hair is such a mess, it's ridiculous, it's embarrassing, I really shouldn't have my hair like this, it's, um, it's got to be illegal, hi Judy, so I thought I'd just come on here and uh, do this thingy, I'm going to share it so other people can watch as well i'm also recording the podcast with this microphone here and i will upload the podcast when it's edited this video here this camera this microphone here next to me is for the facebook so you can hear share to a page okay here we go sharing share once i shared it and i'll get on with it oh yeah please only listen when you can safely close your eyes na, 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 na. jade jade gc jade hi how you doing are you okay are you well Deeds and I are watching your Christmas Eve episode. Really? Wow. Say hello to the little fella for me. It's, uh, isn't that weird? I don't, I don't know when I did the the Christmas Eve one. I know it's Christmas Eve, but I think it was, I, I don't know what time it was, if I'm honest. I haven't done one since then. I'm trying to figure out how do I look. I've got a big bright light over there. The TV. If I show you it. If I can turn this around without causing... No, no, I can't. The whole thing is going to fall over if I try and move stuff. <gasps> no, don't try and move stuff. No. No, can't do that. It's balanced. It's a finely balanced old thing. Um, before I start, I just need to say thank you to a couple of people. I need to think. Hi, Jason. As usual, off to work. Was we'll certainly listen tonight. Hi, Diana. I know I come on at the weirdest times, don't I? If I was a bit, I tell you what the problem is. Well, apart from me, is one of the problems is um, what time. If I do a live broadcast, what time is a good time? Because most of my audience is in America, but I do have also audience in UK and my hair. It looks like a wig. This is terrible. Look. Look at my hair. It's awful. Ah, I need to have a haircut. Um, Yeah, but to try and find a time when it, it's good for people, there's no there's no good time that is good for people in England or people in South Africa or people in New Zealand, Australia, America, Canada, Denmark. You know, I mean, in in Europe, there's only going to be maybe an hour or two difference time wise in kind of the the near neary kind of Europe parts like Ireland and Germany and France and Spain and Italy and stuff. But the further we get away, um the less chance of being able to cater for everyone. Diana says, I'm in New Zealand. What time is it there? I bet it's probably daytime, isn't it? It's um ten to one in the morning here. So I imagine you're probably about 12 hours difference. Is it 12? 
is it one o'clock in the afternoon or is it nine o'clock in the morning? Ten o'clock in the morning, I'm guessing. I could just check it out. Um, Jade says, you look fabulous, darling. Oh, uh, darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, hmm. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, Jade says, Deed says, don't look bald like him with a haircut. Oh, is he had his all? He shaved all his hair off. Two ten p.m. and that's on a Wednesday more Wednesday afternoon, because you're ahead or you behind us. Diana, is it is it a Tuesday or is it a Wednesday? You shaved his head, Jade. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's naughty. Shaving your little boy's hair off. Yes. Is it a Tuesday or Wednesday? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> so I'm taking it. It's a Wednesday. You're ahead. Ahead. Yeah, cool. So to... Wow, so you're t t 13. How could it be 10 past 2? I... The only reason I'm saying that is because normally you're ahead by the hours. And there's normally no minutes involved according to what I've seen. So if you're 12 hours ahead, then you're going to be, you never have to change the minutes. But you say it's 10 past two. And I'm 10 to one. That's confusing me. Ah. I need to do some... No, it's not. It's 13.52 in New Zealand. Yeah, Diane, see? On hand at one... See? Oh, so it told me you're lying to me. <laughs> the only reason is because I've, I've looked to try and find a time that would suit everybody, and there isn't one. <laughs> so that's how, I, that's how I remember that there's no... The minutes are always the same, if you know what I mean. Just check I've got the recording. Yeah. So I've got my iPad recording this podcast. Uh, is the sound okay for those listening on Facebook? Is the sound okay? Is it, is it good, good enough? Is the sound good enough? Is it loud enough? Do I need the microphone? <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> I wanna, that's probably better for everyone who can't see my face now. Okay, I'm going to move the microphone back. I'm just being silly. I'm being a silly little boy. I don't want to, I don't want too many microphones in the picture, if I'm honest. It's just, it's just too many things sticking in my face. It just, just makes me feel a little bit. But. And I've also, I've got my iPad and I've got an iPad stand that I got through today, which I bought. Uh, it's just a stand so that it can, the iPad can be in the right position and held in place with a, just basically the same thing as what I'm using for the iPhone at the moment. And I'm thinking I'm going to start doing some live broadcast on YouTube. So the, the sound's good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. It better be the amount it cost me. Look, this microphone, I don't know if you can see it. It's a, it's a Shure microphone. This one here is a Shure as well. But they're basically both pretty much the same kind of microphones. This one specifically for what I'm doing here, I think. Diana says, you bored me so much I'm running late. We'll definitely tune in tonight. Okay, Diana. Um... I'll wait till you're gone, then I'll talk about you. Behind your back. Uh, Jade, have a good day, Diana. Jade says, uh, I have a room full of microphones. Do you? Yeah, is that is that where you, you make out all your batteries? That's where all the batteries go, yeah? That's what you use all the batteries for, the microphone. Is that what you tell everyone? They're microphones, yeah? Mummy, why is the microphone buzzing? <laughs> um... Let me see if I've got any messages. I got um, 
couple of messages. I want to say, just quickly say hello to, and I need to remind, Paul sent me a PayPal gift. Thank you, Paul. Jade says, yes, don't tell all my secrets. I won't tell all your secrets, which reminds me, we, we need to have a need to catch up. <laughs> um, and also, uh, thank you to Mary for um, another PayPal gift. Thank you very much to both of you. I will reply. I've just been, um, I got a headache today. I've got a headache now. I was, I wasn't, over Christmas I spent a lot of my time in bed, but then yesterday, which was, what, Monday, I had a bit of energy, and so I was doing a lot of, um, I'm basically uploading the recordings, uh, five hour and ten hour recording versions of my recordings, so I've been editing those. And uploading them, which takes absolutely hours. And I'm using five different um, things to upload them. I've got a laptop, phones, iPads, whatever. Just trying to upload this stuff. I'm also changing my website, jasonhuland.com. And what I've done is I'm starting to... I've, I've changed the website. So if you go to there, you've got... A, latest recordings which you click on and take you to the latest recordings then below that you got one two three four five six seven eight eight different podcasts that i've got that i regularly do stuff on and they're broken into categories where you can go on there and you can stream it for free or you can download it as well so i've broken into categories First of all, for example, relax and sleep daily without music. So you can click on that if you want, and that'll take you to, um, there's 149 recordings, which you can stream or download. They're already uploaded. The second one, you got me on your TV. Okay. <laughs> what, hear me now doing this or the other one? Hi, David. Or um, you can click on the, the other one, which is uh, Relax and Sleep Daily with Music. Then there's another one, which is just the duration of the thing. You'll be able to click on there, stream or download, if you want to actually have keep the recording for yourself. Relax and Sleep Daily, 15 hours music. And then Relax and Sleep Daily, 10 hours music. And I've got the same categories for every single podcast. It's going to take me quite a long time to upload all that stuff oops just bashed the microphone it's not the only thing i bashed today and i banged my knee earlier that's what i mean Woo! i it's gonna take to be fair it might take a month or so in order for all that to be uploaded or updated but i'm quite pleased with it because it's something i've wanted to do for a while but i put off because i know it's a lot of work Right now, Jade has me on the telephone on a television. Ooh. Hmm. Is when it? Oh yeah. You, uh, if there was. Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm just thinking of stuff. Don't worry. So yeah. So the website's quite good. I'm quite pleased with it, and it will be. As it always has been, there's always been huge amounts of stuff on there. A lot of stuff on my website. You don't realise, actually, until you go inside it. It's a bit like a TARDIS. Or my bum, no. It's, it's, it's a, it's, there's a lot, it's, it's a lot of space. It's, it's a lot in there. Um, a lot, thousands of recordings. And there will be even more. When you think about... 149 recordings and there'll be another 149 with music 149 with five hours and 149 with 10 hours so that's what 153 600 recordings just for that one podcast before i add more deeds wants you to move to america so we can bug it every day ah 
Well, I would like to visit. I'd like to visit America. I would. And yeah, I'm, um, I like it so weak and buggy. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be buggy me. It'd be fun. We could go out. You could take me. Where would you take me? So I don't really know where, whereabouts you live in America, but um, what what sightseeing would you do? What what kind of things do you think that I'd enjoy doing or seeing when I was while I'm out there? We would love to have you. Ah, oh. where would you take me? Because I I don't really. You know, I think, I know some of the, the sites from, you know, some parts of America, you know, like the Eiffel Tower and um, Cathedral, Notre Dame Cathedral and, uh, is it Calif, uh, was it, I forget that name, the name of the place. I don't know, but all of you know the the Buddhist temples and um, the Nile. You know, I'd like to visit those places in America, but it's just I don't know what parts of America they're in. Jade says Charles, Charleston, SC, and Oak Island. We would take you to our backyard <laughs> to take you camping. Yeah. Um, I'd like to visit your backyard. It's uh, it sounds nice. Uh, camp. I don't know about camping. I'm not sure about camping. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about that. I mean, don't you have like snakes and crocodiles <laughs> and stuff like that? Because we don't have that here. We do have snakes. In fact, my friend's got a snake downstairs. Um, yes, you do have crocodile. You just want to get, you just want to get me eaten by a crocodile. No thanks. It's one of my, it's one of my rules in life. Don't get eaten by crocodiles. That's just one of the, you know, it's probably one of the only rules I have in my life. And I'm sticking to it. Jade says, yes, but they're not that bad. No. Yes. What do you mean they're not that bad? I just got a bad reputation. Look at my hair. You know what I did? I got the clippers, which is their... Basically, you can use them just to shave your head. Uh, I feel like they don't like use it in the army, you know, and they just shave your head all off really easily. Well, I got them, and I had enough of my hair, and I thought, that's it, I'm shaving it off. Went like that, and it just turned itself off. So the clippers aren't working, which it dragged a bunch of my hair out right from the front. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And my friend, who sometimes cuts my hair, you know, especially during this period of everything being shut down and stuff, he's he's away, he's not around. So I, I got no one. I wear a hood whenever I go out, like a hoodie. And it's okay in this weather because it's, you know, winter and it keeps my ears warm and stuff. But blimey, honestly, it did. It almost like ripped my hair out from the sockets. The sockets? The roots, the roots, that's it, the roots. Nor the sockets, the roots. <sighs> and relax. So, here's my plan going forward. This is for anyone listening. I'll forget the podcast. For all my lovely podcast listeners and anyone listening to the watching the video on YouTube, please subscribe. And I wear a weird face. I don't know what it's like for other people to see my face, especially for the first time, because I'll be honest, sometimes I go in the bathroom and I turn the light on and even it gives me a shock. Like, oh, what the hell's that? And I thought, oh, it's just my face. Whew. It's just not really ever got used to my own face. I had a friend that had a, a thing. There's a special term for it. 
Oh yeah, it was a thief. No, it was just no. It was a special term for it. Um, and he had dis dysmorphia or something. You have a cute face, says Jade. Thank you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say thank you. I mean, genuinely, because I don't feel cute. I feel. I got a little bit of a headache. I just took some te te headache tablets, and. I don't want to let anything get in the way of what I'm doing. Does that make sense? I don't want to see that muscles. Um, I don't want to. I want to do get stuff done, and I've been. I've got, I've got a lot done today. But at the same time, I don't want to. Um, let all the work I'm doing here interfere with making new recordings. Because if I don't make new recordings, I get um, annoyed. I get a bit grumpy, a bit, you know. I I like making new recordings. Noise. Noise? It's a weird spelling of noise. N-O-I-C-E. Now that's noise. Jade, think about some of the places you'll take, you'll take me. Some of the get some of the um some of the sites in your local area because I don't really know the area so you could educate um some of the other people as well that are watching this on Facebook that have never been to where you are so they might think oh that's a nice place to go see um and I'll read them out as well so people listening on a podcast can hear. So I, yeah, they're saying I'm, although I'm doing all this stuff um, with the website and trying to, you know, get back to where I was before with the five hour and 10 hour recordings I had before, which I deleted. So, so now I'm kind of uploading new versions of those. I made um, 60 recordings today and I've been trying to upload them and I haven't got very far if I'm honest it's a little bit disappointing I've, I've just just it's so much to do but there's no point me making a podcast a new podcast uploading it and then uploading loads of stuff afterwards because no one's gonna no one's gonna know about the podcast cause it's gonna get lost D -d -d who says that happy Chris I have not even replied to the Christmas messages. Oh man, I'm terrible. Seriously, I'm getting apps. I'm just really, I'm an awful person. Okay, Marion. Hi there. How? I hope you have a very happy, healthy New Year. Thanks. You too. So happy New Year, Marion. If you're listening or watching this. Um, Darby says, what time does your... Do your what time does your stream videos in Central Time in America North? Good morning. It's eight forty a.m. now. I'm a little bit late replying to this, Darby. So I'm sorry. Uh, that was on the twenty sixth of December. I was in bed all day at Christmas and um, what's it? So I am looking Jade at your message. The Watermelon Festival is really popular here in July. The watermelon festival. I love a nice melons. I love I love melons. Um, Chateau. I remember back in I was a kid, and there was this park that was near my nan and granddad's house. Just you know, not far. We used to walk through it to get to her house, really. And I used to live there as well. But I remember walking there. I don't know if I was with a friend, but I'm. And I might have actually been living there at the time. So it would have been when I was eight. And it was Independence Day. And you might think, well, why are we celebrating Independence Day in England when it's our bloody country to start with? No, but uh, what it is, is where I lived, and in England, there's a lot of, or there was, I don't know so much now, there was a lot of American forces based in the UK. Like hundreds of thousands, I think at the time 
and where I lived, there was a whole base there. They would like used to be around there. So a bunch of American people would got together and they had like hot dogs, burgers and watermelon. Now I was hungry and I didn't want to wait for the burgers to be cooked. So I had some watermelon and I remember even to this day how beautiful it was because it was uh, July, wasn't it? I think isn't that Independence Day is in July, I think, in America. I say in America because I imagine there's lots of countries that celebrate Independence Day, um, you know, for their own independence. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, uh, France probably, because uh, they had a revolution, didn't they? They were they were they were revolting. They <laughs> still are. <laughs> no, they they revolted. Um, wow. I wonder if we have a. No, I guess we don't, do we? I think mainly it's uh, a lot of countries uh, celebrate Independence Day because they managed to get away from us. The English, the Europeans, the nasty Europeans. Jade says, we are about 30 minutes away from Charlotte, which I love so much. The city always has free things to do. Cool. Um, well, I'll definitely tell you up on a watermelon. The Watermelon Festival, though. Um, so that's something that I, um, I don't know about that watermelon festival. I mean, I could, t I could, I could come to America, um, this year if it's allowed, you know, if, if, um, if, you know, I've been traveling and if it's, you know, if, if this, whatever's going on is allows, us to travel but i'd like to go come to america and maybe even do some kind of like meet and greet or something for some of the people in america that like would like to travel to meet me um maybe even sort of rent a little venue out and do a um a live session i don't know we could do a pre-recorded session i just like stick the recorder and just play it on the stage but that wouldn't really be very good we are three hours away from the mountains the mountains they are part of the apple Appal apple appalachian i'm trying to pronounce that word jade says they are a part of the appalachian trail and a beautiful site all seasons so i guess I'm a med are they the kind of mountains that are beautiful like you can go there in the summer but in the in the winter you can go skiing and stuff um because they have that in America don't they like you can actually be in the sun and then travel a few hours and then be in Alpen is it Alpen I know it's a breakfast cereal but isn't it not Aspen <laughs> yeah Aspen and go skiing uh, we are three hours away from Myrtle Beach. From from the Myrtle Beach chain? What's that? You're writing too much. I'm trying, I can't keep up with Jade. Um, yes, it's a local thing for Pageland, South Carolina. Come, please. Well, if you can s sort me out a really reasonable bed and breakfast or well, not bed and breakfast like look you know what i like to stay in a motel you know those roadside motels that you see in all the movies and the crime films and the crime tv shows and like where people like you know if there's like a a 40 percent chance of surviving the night i want to go somewhere like that 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 uh that interests me I'd like to go and stay in a motel. Um, so if you've got any motels nearby, that'd be cool. Because then, then you can come pick me up and take me, take me on a journey. Take me traveling. Yeah. Um, I'd like to, I, I know it's, it's an expensive thing, but I'd like to kind of travel through America. Oh, the Guest Lodge Inn. Tell me more, Jade. The Guest Lodge Inn. Diane. Hi, Diane. Hello. Hi, everybody. 
Diane. Isn't it weird how I've not met anyone, but there's just familiar people now that almost um, like I recognise the name like I would like someone that I know, if, if you know what I mean, like in real life. It's like, oh, even like literally it could probably be about, I'd say, a hundred, maybe two hundred people could come on air. There's only two at the moment, but there could be two hundred people, and I could recognise every single one of their names because it's always the same, not always the same people, but it's generally the same people that come back and listen to me and watch me. Jade says, uh, "Not far off from my house." No, Jade, you misunderstand. I want it to be as far away from your house as possible. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm I'm going to hide. So where where would David like to take me? Ask David. Did, oh, I keep banging. The microphones are too close to me. I need to have space because I move my arms when I talk usually. Now I'm like this. Like I have to just you know I want to be able to move my hands. Jade, it's a local motel and is about seventy US dollars a night and it's creepy. 70 so that's about yeah i don't know why i thought it would be cheap but that probably is cheap um the conversion i've got my phone conversion here actually 70 us dollar 70 that's 52 pound 11 pence so 52, so if I times by 7, wow, <laughs> so it's 364, 364 pounds a week for 7 days. I mean, to be fair, if you're going to travel all the way to America, or, you know, if you're going to travel a like, huge distance, I mean, how creepy <laughs> is it? I don't know, because I've lived in some pretty dodgy places over the years, so I don't think too much is going to really uh, freak me out. The only thing that's probably going to freak me out, more than anything, is, um, well, not really, but if I see people walking around with guns, that would be weird. I know there are places in America where you can just act, just walk around. I've seen them. I've seen them on TV, on the news like at rallies and they've literally got these big massive guns and like that would be freaky because of we don't have that here um i would find that weird but other than that um it's oh no haunted no ghosts don't scare me no i've met too many humans to be worried by by, by ghosts uh jade said he would want to take you to the waffle house in monroe it's a nice little american diner yeah David Waffle House, that's just up my street. Because this, this big fat belly needs feeding regularly. Jay says, like haunted creepy, I know I've been there. Oh. Yeah, I, I, things that I don't, I don't get. Okay, I'm lying because there, I have been a bit freaked out in the past. William's here. Hi, William. Hello. The only thing that really probably scared me the most, I work, when I worked at, I counselled in this big old building. Hi, uh, William says, good to see you, Jack. Hi, happy, happy Christmas, New Year, etc. Um, I worked in this place that was really old. And when, I, when we first moved in now, I was, I was a receptionist, but also I was counselling. And one of the ladies said that she saw a ghost in there. And whenever I was there on my own, I'd hear things. And it put me off my wanking. So uh, uh, David's is the left. It, David is the David is the let's eat here and there person. He will keep you fed. Oh, so David knows all the good places to eat. Ah. Oh. I'm a bit like that. <laughs> if you ever came here, I know where to eat. Not that I really go out that much, but I know where there is food. 
I know how to get it delivered as well. Diane says, come to my house. I'm a feeder. I'm a feeder. Oh, I'm a feeder of Sunday dinners and cake. Diane, I would never leave. Apart from the fact that once I got in there, after like probably after about four or five hours, you probably couldn't fit me out the couldn't fit me out the door. I'd just be stuck in there. My belly would just you see my belly grow when I eat. Oh, <laughs> I'm like a snake. You know when snakes on here like to get this big mess. Of, that's what I'm like. Uh, Jay said, "Yep." Wow. So it's Jade and Diane. So that's two places I'm going to be eating. I have to go on a really big diet before I go to America because otherwise, you know, I only get in trouble because, yeah, if I get really slim and I go there and I can just, I can get really, just pig out and then come back and be the same size I was before I got really slim. There's no logic in what I just said there. Diane said, ha, ah, nobody, nobody leaves our house hungry, says Diane. Well, I love, a, I, I love a nice roast dinner. I do. I, it's something that, it's, it's a traditional thing in this country, in my country. A roast dinner, or it used to be. I don't know, I'm, I can't be the consensus of what's, what's uh, fashionable or anything in this country anymore. But when I was a kid... A no, a nice big roast dinner every Sunday was kind of the norm, and it was the best meal of the week. It really was, and we had a glass of wine as well. And I loved a nice glass of white wine when I was a kid. <sighs> Ooh, Diane says, "Ha, huh? okay." Jay says, "Diane, we're the same way." Ah, oh. um. Deed says good night, Uncle Jason. Good night, uh, um, Auntie David. Is he going to bed already? It's only one twenty-two in the morning. What time is it in America then? You're six hours behind, aren't you? What's that make it? Eight o'clock, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, seven o'clock, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, seven thirty. Diane says, I was a chef before I got too unwell. Yeah, like, Jade, what what time is it? Where are you, Jade? Oh, a chef? 8.23. How old is David? 8.23. I'm trying to think. That's about a time I used to go to bed. I think I used to go to bed probably about 8 o'clock when I was... Yeah, probably up to the age of about 13. I think when I got to 13, I was allowed to stay up to 9, I think. I think. I can't remember. 10. Yeah, it's about the time I used to go to bed when I was 10. Not the time I used to go to sleep. But I'd just be reading. There wasn't. We didn't have video games. Well, we did have video games, but not like... I didn't have a television in my room until I was, I think, 14. It was brilliant because uh, it was black and white TV. I just want to just say, uh, Diane says he was, he was a chef before she got too unwell. Well, it looks like you're making use of your skills though, because it's one that I think being a chef is. See, I, I <laughs> technically, I have catering experience. I say technically because you wouldn't think it, but I went to catering college when I was sixteen for a year. Uh, it was part of the scheme I was on. I was on the thing called a YTS scheme, youth training scheme. And so I was at work officially four days a week, one day a week I go to college. And it was um, catering. So I did, uh, it was waiting and cooking. So Jade says, you're a sous, a sous chef with no job. Are you really a sous chef? And Diane, is that pastry, isn't it? Sous I'm not generally, is that? I should know. I thought sous chef was pastry and cakes and 
And Diana says, I'm sorry, I froze. Hospitality. Ah. So I did so I did catering. So basically at the college we learned how to cook. So I did cooking at school. So I did three three or four years of cooking at school. Um so I know what I do know my way around a kitchen, but I think it's lack of interest, if I'm honest. But I don't know. I think if I had someone to cook for, I might, I might be more interested in it. I don't know. I don't know. But it's always been me, and I just, I have cooked for people in the past. I have. But it's, you know, when I lived in the Buddhist center in the Buddhist community. We used to take turns cooking. So there was like five of us. So it'd be like once a week I might cook. And yeah, it was, it was, I think it was a roast dinner actually. So it was okay. Um, I remember we had one person and he did nachos. And with whatever you have with nachos, you know, the crisps and uh, cheese and stuff. I forget the name of it. And then Diane says it's difficult to get motivated when you're on your own. Yeah. No, I agree. It's I don't know, I just got better things to do. I just I just want to put the food in my mouth and eat it. I don't enjoy sitting around or waiting for something to be cooked. Uh, you know, even microwaves are too slow for me. Cuz I leave it sometimes till I'm actually hungry, hungry. And I just got to have a bit of toast or something just to, which is probably not great, but yeah, nice roast dinner. I don't know about every day. Diane says, I have a family and always loads to cook for. Yeah, I think I'd, I just, I do like eating food, but nice food. I get a little bit fed up because I do have takeaways sometimes. There's periods when I have takeaways, usually at Christmas. Although this Christmas I've only had, I have had a couple of takeaways, but um, not as much as normal because what I normally do when I get a takeaway is I share it with my neighbour and he hasn't been here. So I don't want to chuck away food. And a lot of the deals, like you get two two pizzas for one, which would have been today, Tuesday. There's no point in me getting two pizzas because it's just me. I like, I, and also I kind of, for some reason, I don't feel guilty about spending the money on a takeaway if I'm sharing it. If it's just for me, there's something just, my hair looks awful. Look at that. Oh, I can't stop. Look. I need to get a hat, honestly. I, I look like I'm just dragging it forward to, to hide it. Look like a wig. Anyway, I don't care. What's it matter? Look, anyone, what you've all seen me with my, my hair bald in the past seven years, so it's it's not that bad. It's probably better than it. It's, it's it's not the worst it's ever been. Um, Diane said that's lovely that you share. Thank you. It's I don't know. It's it's nice to share, but it's also it's just good to just get. I don't know, it's nice to share. Jade says, I love cooking for people. My life situation right now currently keeps me from working, so I just cook for my dad and deeds. So are you are you living with your dad at the moment? Who's who's living in your house at the moment, Jade? How many people you got there? Um I like to yeah, it's good because there's this place where you can get a roast dinner. It's um, I forget what it's called, but it's they do. It's one of those places where you can just like help yourself to however much you want, and they do deliveries, and it's really good because one roast dinner is enough for two people. Um. Okay, Jade, thanks for that. I just uh I'm just keeping a log of that for myself to remember. So 
your um when I first got a dinner, this dinner, which is a cooked dinner, a roast dinner, and there's you got a choice of like chicken, whatever. You got a vegetarian version as well. And then you've got roast potatoes, mashed potato, York big Yorkshire pudding, um, cauliflower and cheese, stuffing, and uh like peas, carrots, uh, maybe um, Brussels sprouts as well, and gravy. So there's a lot of stuff there. The first time I got it, I piled it up onto the plate, and I was hungry, but I was way too hungry for the amount that was there. So I started stuffing it in my mouth, like, and um, I ate too much. But I couldn't give it to my friend because I'd already been <laughs> eating it. You know, so I had to chuck it away, and I was I chucked away all this food, and I felt bad about that. So since then, what I do is I put enough on a plate for me, and I leave the rest in the packaging, or I put it on a plate for him, whatever's easier. I prefer to put it in, a, leave it in the packaging. That way, he's got to chuck the packaging away himself. It saves me doing it. Um, plus, he can decide what he has, and you know, so it's just there. But it's nice. But I wanted to get one on. On Christmas Eve, I ordered one. And what I was going to do... There's a lot of noise outside. What I was going to do is... Put some on a plate for Christmas Day. So I was going to have some Christmas Eve and then eat the rest of Christmas Day, stick it in a microwave put it in the fridge and then you know they didn't turn up and I'm waiting an hour and a half two hours and I think what the hell's going on and then I look that the money didn't the payment didn't go through because there wasn't enough money on the card to pay for it but they didn't phone me up didn't contact me to say oh the money hasn't gone through have you got another way of paying for it which I could have done do you do you take payments and kisses I don't you know I would have found another way to pay them. So I'm just sitting there, New Year's Eve, waiting. And, you know, waiting. I was hungry. And I was, you know, another neighbour knocked on the door and was talking to me. So I lost track of time. And by the time that it was too late to, you know, like, but I ended up getting a pizza instead. But luckily it was, it was past the time of getting a pizza, but they, they allowed it, so it's quarter past nine, and they said, "Yeah, I just have to see if we've got a delivery driver," and they did, so it's okay. Um, okay, well, I've missed out a few messages there. Jay just uh, just Jay, Jay says I'm caretaking for them both. All right, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Okay. So yeah, it's um if your dad's watching Hi Dad Yeah, what was this yeah, so that that was what happened Christmas Eve. And in Christmas Day I basically um again they wouldn't give me well they wouldn't give me I didn't want two pizzas because it's just me. And they said, Well, that's a special offer we do, the two pizzas. If you just have one pizza, it's going to be more expensive. Like, how the hell does that work out that way? More expensive if you have one pizza than it is if you have two. Mm. So um, I ended up having a large pizza with some cookies. Oh, I want that now. I want them cookies. Cookies are the best part. And then um, I ended up eating it on Christmas Day as well. So I, st I stuck like half of it in the fridge and that's what I had Christmas Day. Uh, cold pizza. <laughs> yeah, groovy. Yo, mm, isn't it nice? So I've got another one. Diane. Jade, I love cookies. Yeah, I love cookies. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh, I do. They're nice, especially when they're warm. The ones from because this is uh, Domino's Pizza. The warm pit, the warm cookies. But they don't stay warm long. But oh yeah, I could really do one now. One or two, or five. <sighs> Anyway, um, how long have I been talking? 50 minutes, wow. I'm trying to look over there. Got all this stuff going. There's not much background sound though, is there? Apart from in the garden, there was a bit of a bit of stuff, but like they've gone in. I just sometimes think, am I making too much noise, you know? But I don't think I am, am I? I'm talking fairly quiet. I hope so anyway. Jade, let's eat some cookies. <laughs> yeah, we can find a, a way. Oh, oh um, yeah. They're easy to make 20 seconds in a microwave. Really? You know what? I don't utilize my microwave enough. You know, the only two things I use it for is I heat up the milk in the morning for my ready break. If you don't know, if you don't have ready break where you are, it's like a porridge, like a, a quick porridge. And the other thing is to heat up beans, baked beans. That's it. Oh yeah, and to cook like a microwave meal. So those are three things. Uh, when I bought the microwave, because I have, I basically been without a microwave since 2004 let's say 2005 until I don't know a couple of years ago last year the year before so 5 15 to so a good like 17 18 years without a microwave and I remember everything I got from the supermarket was microwavable. I was getting pizzas, hot dogs, burgers, ice cubes, you know, you name it. Um, I just, it was just constant potatoes, you know, um, jacket potatoes, stuff like that, uh, that take 10 minutes. I was just nonstop. Everything was microwavable, um, like specifically for the microwave. And I should have done that for Christmas, really. The only thing is, I, I, I got a delivery the week before Christmas, and then I went to make a do, and it wasn't for Christmas. That was enough to get me through till Christmas. And then I went to make another delivery, to, to book another f delivery, home delivery. No slots, completely full. So I, did, I was basically just getting by on what I already had in the fridge and in the cupboards. And then... I managed to get a delivery on Monday after Christmas. So it was that 25th, 20, 27th of December. And even then, I, it was a small delivery because I didn't, didn't really have the cash to get a big delivery. So I spent like 40 quid or something like that. Just basics. And they still didn't give me any milk, which was like the most basic of basics that I could basically ever basically order in mean, milk, but they didn't didn't have any milk. It didn't so I don't know what was going on there. Because normally I I get the long life, where it, I forget what it's called, but it's a certain milk that lasts a lot lot longer, a lot longer than some of the other milk. I guess it just isn't fresh, but it's nice. Cravendale, it's called. Yeah, get even there. It's very nice. It's very tasty. Mmm. So I can buy it and it lasts a couple of weeks as long as you don't open it. Cravendale, yeah. My favourite is Parmalat. Jade says, we don't have that here, I don't think. Um, Parmalat. Parmalat. It sounds like cheese. Is it like a cheesy milk? Hello, just 
Parmesan, Parmalat. Mind you, I did. There are quite a few things in America that are exactly the same as what we have here, but they've got a different name. And one of those Oh, what is it? Is it Mars Bar? Do you have a Mars Bars? Or are they called something different? See, we did that with the Snicker Bar. It used to be called Marathon. And then, for some reason, this is about 30 years ago or whatever, or 25 years ago, they decided to change it to Snickers, the same as it is in America. And I refuse to call it that. For many years. <laughs> marathon. Did, it, did you did it used to be called Marathon in America? Or anywhere else? Jade says it's a shelf stable milk. A lot like Craven. Oh cool. Diane says Marathon. Jade says, No, we have Snickers and Twix. Yeah, we they're called Snickers now, but they have been for a long time. Twix, yeah. Twix are weird. They keep coming out with different versions of it you know like different new types of snickers not new types of twix rather what's that all about eh so anyway oh yeah my website so that's coming along good it will be so full of stuff it's amazing it's going to take ages to do it but it will be done it just it's just non-stop. <laughs> so I'm thinking what I'm going to be doing, even if I don't do like lots of live broadcasts or anything, my plan is when I do a sleep whisper hypnosis recording or um, relax and sleep hypnosis daily or bedtime story time or boring story or whatever, or let me boy to sleep even, I'm going to film it and put onto YouTube, as well as make the podcast. That's my plan, even if I don't do sort of regular live stuff. I don't know about the regular live stuff, I don't know. Jade says, I just stick with regular Baker's Dark Chocolate Bars. We don't have those, I don't think, Baker's Dark Chocolate Bars. Jade says, bedtime stories, <laughs> I think. I, used to, I went through a little period when I really liked dark chocolate, you know, like proper uh, 80, 90% chocolate. And then I really went off it. I kind of, it, it was too much. It was a bit too bitter. There was one I quite liked and it had um, peppers, I think, mixed in with it. And it was spicy and it was a bit hot and it was brilliant, really nice mixture. But I think as far as chocolate goes, Maltesers, st I still can't beat Maltesers. Don't have them that often. But Maltesers and the Crunchy Bar. So I guess it's that honeycomb thing that I like. I like minstrels as well, which are, I don't know if you have them. For me, minstrels, Maltesers, they're kind of, um, they go together, although they're completely different, but they just, I, I, cast, I class them in the same category. They're basically in a category of things that I love. Diane says, I remember my first time I heard you was on a YouTube video 20 years ago. <laughs> Like it was, no, it was, she didn't say that. 20 minute sleep challenge. Might as well be 20 years ago. That was 2011 I did that. Jade says, going to have to try that now. Maltesers. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what, um, Diane, that, that 20 minute sleep challenge, try and stay awake, that was. When I was, because I was on YouTube at the time, predominantly, I still was doing podcasts. I've always have for, since 2007. But that YouTube was my, that was my first 
viral video. I know it wasn't viral as such, you know, in a way of getting millions, but it was my first um, really popular video that suddenly I was getting thousands of uh, views. And I think that video kind of turned my YouTube channel around and I got a lot more people watching it. And even now, people still watch that video on YouTube. It's been, it's always been the most popular video that I've ever done, which is weird. I don't know why, but um, it just has. I clearly did something right on that video. Diane says it was fantastic. Thank you. Oh. It still gets watched too, yeah, so Jed, it does, people still watch it, not, my YouTube channel is very, very small now compared to how it used to be, it used to be, like I said, I've got a different channel to what I used to have, but I had a YouTube channel, and it was pretty, it was growing, so if I'd have just not done what I did and deleted everything, which is what I did in about 2013. You know, eight years on, I would have had, I imagine my channel would be pretty, I'd, I'd be able to, I'd be able to earn a living from it by now. I, I reckon it would have been, because I was getting about, I was making about £180 a month from my videos. And I was getting 45,000 uh, views a month. Now, to me, 45,000 was huge. I know it's, it's tiny compared to a lot of other channels and that. But by, but it was growing. It was really growing. And every every day I was getting more and more subscribers. And every video was getting more views. You know, it's really, really big, really um, getting growing at an exponential rate and Diane says everything kept vanishing yeah I did I deleted everything um, I, had a, I had a habit of doing that I don't do that anymore although I have deleted a load of stuff but it's because I had to it wasn't because I wanted to but I um, I think It was weird because the the YouTube channel was going so well and I almost did a little gamble and I, I don't know why I was, just wasn't right in the head at the time and I just deleted it all and I lost it, lost all of the videos apart from those that I had backups, you know, on my, on my laptop. But there you go, that's, that's what it is. I won't, I won't be doing that again. And... That's partly why I haven't really put much interest or much energy into my YouTube channel. I mean, I have uploaded. I've got 594 subscribers, which is tiny. Oh, Diana, you have bipolar, yeah. It's, so you understand. It was. I can't really explain it, if I'm honest. I can't really explain. It was self-sabotage. I think is definitely a good. I've I've discussed it with my with my therapist in depth for quite a while. That um, self sabotage thing that I that I had going on, but now it's harder to do that because of the audience. Because my my audience is so much larger now than it used to be with the podcasts and their, um, you know. I mean, this this month, without getting into all the statistics and stuff, but current month I've had 761,000 downloads of my podcasts. So it's, it's practically impossible to chuck that away. I think if I'd have had the similar, if I'd have had those kind of numbers on my YouTube channel... I wouldn't have been able to, I don't think I could have even deleted it. It would have been, you know, because it would have been, it was a lot easier when I had, I think I had like 3,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, apparently. That's what I've been told, people tell me. I don't remember. And 
uh, half a million plays up to that point and then I deleted it. But if I'd have had, uh, you know, like millions and millions and millions of plays, I probably wouldn't have got rid of it. It's hard to say, isn't it? Who knows? I mean, it might have not made any difference. But on my YouTube net channel now, I've got 594 subscribers. So it's a tiny amount. Um, and I get 1,000 plays a month. Diane says you need to value your own worth. Your... Yeah, thanks. Um, I think I'm a lot better these days and... I've had a lot of feedback about my podcasts and just it's a bit like um movie moviegoers or play people you know play um people vote with their feet or with their bums with their bums you know if people come to see a play and they sit down on the seats that's them voting you might never get any feedback from them but if people keep coming back and sitting down and people keep coming, then um, that that in itself is kind of shows that whoever's doing a play is doing something right. And for all the mistakes I, I make and will make and have made and stuff, uh, I must be doing something right to have people keep coming back and listening you know some people have been listening to me for years well you know um, I mean, someone, someone bloke said uh, he'd been listening to me f since about 2007 and he's still listening it's like wow we were both young men back then <laughs> and I was honestly I was I was I was 35 years old when I started doing this. I'm now nearly 52. Well, no, 51. I'll be 52 in the end of August. It's a long way away. Isn't it? Twenty percent left, so um, I'll have to bring this to a close in a minute. I've got a lot of stuff though on on the videos. So if I go to monetization just so it tells me how many videos I've got no it doesn't oh I thought it would do see 3630 watch hours I need 4000 to be able to monetize I need a thousand subscribers to monetize I'm not bothered about monetizing it's just uh, that, but I thought normally says how many videos I have but it doesn't have that there settings Oh. oh, okay. I've got thousands. I've uploaded all of the podcast episodes. So you can just um, share them from my podcast. So I've got every episode of my podcast, apart from the ones of music, on my YouTube channel. So And all in playlists as well. So I've got playlists for... 781 episodes of Let Me Boy to Sleep, 149 of the Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. I've got seven Jason Chats vlogs, 368 Deep Sleep Whispers, 25 Boring Objects, 26 Bedtime Stories, 40 Stress and Pain Relief ones, um, 30 hypnotic buffet 46 pain relief chronic pain relief so yeah i've got quite a few on there okay maybe not thousands just that was an exaggeration wasn't it but over a thousand anyway 781 1000 yeah 200 300 probably about 1500 recordings Once I start uploading new content and videos, I think the YouTube channel will start to grow. That's what I think. I think it will just automatically 
Um, because for some people want to see a video on YouTube, just a static page of my voice isn't really what YouTube is for. Um, even though for me, you know, it's the sound may actually, well, probably is a lot better on the podcast than it is on, although there's probably not a lot of difference really now. Thanks, Diane. This is amazing. Um, probably not a lot of difference now with, because I'm using a really good microphone for the videos as well. So it's not a huge difference. Providing there's no background sound and there's not really any, there's no hissing or anything like that. You know. So, I mean, I should be all right even to do a whisper recording. Do a whisper recording. Does it sound okay? Whisper. Yeah. <laughs> and once I'm up to date with everything and the website's up to date and everything's kind of where I want it to be, I'm probably going to be making four, probably at least four new videos a day, four new podcast episodes a day. Um, that's the plan. I just have to get up to date with everything because that uh, having to delete the long recordings of music was a real, uh, it was a, it tripped me up a bit, you know, it was a bit, that was the 1st of December. Diane says, don't overdo things. Thanks. So sometimes I do overdo things that go on and like last night and today, probably why I got, I had a bit of a headache. It's kind of gone now, but I was fully just wouldn't give up. I had to keep going because I need to get this stuff done because it's in the way of, I'd much rather be reading a book on hypnosis or get myself, give myself new ideas uh, to be, be more creative than, um, than to just be editing and uploading old stuff or, you know, just so it's back to where it needs to be. So everything's back to sort of normal. I'd rather create new recordings. So the quicker I get all this finished, the sooner I can just get back to producing new recordings. This kind of where I'm at. So I just want to get it over and done with. And I was hoping to have it all done by the end of the year, which it won't be because it's the 28th today. Well, 29th, I guess. Do things for leisure, not because you have to, says Diane. This isn't a leisure thing for me, though. This is a job, if you know what I mean. Not not sort of, not to earn money, but to, this is, I guess, the, the most important thing that I do. So it's not leisurely. I suppose it, it can be a bit more leisurely than I do it. You know, there's no, there's no reason why I have to get things done right now, but I suppose I'm trying to free myself so then I can be more creative and think of new things to do. I want to do some stop smoking recordings very soon, like regular ones there, maybe some weight loss recordings. <laughs> I have to hide my belly when I do those ones. Um... But I will. I'll, I won't. I won't overwhelm myself, Diane. I'll. I will. I am. I'm quite good at relaxing, which is quite good considering I do you know relaxation sessions. I can sit down on there and on a chair, um, just listening to the radio or listening to some music or sometimes just listening to nothing. Just you know maybe listening to the weather outside. And I really just relax completely. And it does rejuvenate me. So I'm quite good with that. Uh, I'm able to go to sleep quite easily as well. So I'll have a little nap. I'll need, Diane says, I'll need the weight loss ones if I come to your house. I'll, I'll, um, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't. I always had this issue with like, should I? Can I really make a, a weight loss video unless I'm slim? Now I know. I've seen hypnotists teach this stuff, and they've got. I mean, I'm you know they're big, big big people, and I've seen a few hypnotists that teach weight loss, and I was like. To me, that would be like smoking a cigarette and doing stop smoking session with someone, but puffing away on a cigarette. I know it's not the same thing, but to me, that would be <laughs> a little bit like that. But but then, you know what? Does it really matter, I guess? Because if you're listening on a podcast, you can't see me anyway. Um, and if I do a video, I can do it from my neck up <laughs> just show my head because I haven't really got I've got a, I've got a bit of a fat face I know but the weird thing about it right with a pie <laughs> Diane says I can have a pie in my hand while I was doing the video now that's funny <laughs> just have a big plate of food now you need to control your eating you have to control your urge That'd be fun. You know what? I might do that for a laugh. I might actually make a record, <laughs> make a recording, and just have me eating during the recording. Um, you know, I did two versions of the nail biting um, hypnosis recording, and both versions are funny. This is one of my little jewels that you that are kind of hidden. You have to search for them. I don't know where they are. But one, I remember I did a video and the video's gone. But I've still got the audio. So I lost the video long ago. But I literally was laughing. I had to keep holding in the laughter. Because the stuff I was saying was so outrageous at times. And, but it, you know, it was... I know someone that listened to that recording and they'd been biting their nails for the whole life pretty much and they stopped after that. So, you know, I might have to do an up an updated version of that. You know, it's just, all it is is really just being creative and just adding a little bit more juice, a little bit more oomph to, to it. But... It's very fun. It's hard. It's it's okay, really. If if you're making a video, um, it's harder if you start laughing. Um, of course, you can edit it, but with a podcast, it's it's so easy to edit stuff out. So if I'm doing a recording and I start laughing, sometimes I leave it in, but not if it's a not if it's a like a hypnosis session. If it's a let me bore you to sleep one, or if it's uh even perhaps boring objects one or the bedtime story times one where it's a little bit looser. Uh, if I start laughing, I might leave it in. But if it's a deep sleep whisper, <laughs> a deep sleep whisper, and I'm like whispering and, you know, trying to get someone to relax and fall asleep. And then I say something silly that tickles me and I just keep thinking about it. And then I end up laughing. Um, it's a little bit disruptive, I guess, which is why I would edit that out. But I'm going to lose this whole video if I don't stop in a minute because the there's about 5% left on the battery. So I need to finish and upload it. Otherwise, I'll lose it because it's a live stream, you see. Cause it's, so it has to be, it's not saved on my phone. It goes, has to be saved on Facebook and then I'll download it again and put it onto YouTube. So I'm going to go. Um, 79 minutes, so 60, 70, 80, 60, 70, so it's an hour and 20 minutes. So that's okay, isn't it? Thank you, Diane. And I don't know where... Get some rest. Thank you. Um, Jade's disappeared, so I think she's gone. Where are you? Um, and I will see everyone. Thank you for listening. There's only been a few people today. Last time there was uh, a few more, 
but it's okay. It's just really lovely to have anyone listen. There was a time when I'd come on here and I'd be waiting and no one would come on, but now always at least uh, a few people do come and say hello, which is nice. So Nanai, thank you. And um, that's it. So thank you for listening, everyone, on the podcast. Thank you for watching, everyone, on the live stream. Take care. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.